What better place for a first date than scenic Petty Harbor, Newfoundland, and Labrador? His name is Tom Mulcair. He's the new leader of the NDP. But what do any of us really know about this guy? Who is he? What's he like? How will he respond to being dangled 250 feet in the air? That's where the zip line comes in. This week on the Mercer Report, we take the leader of the opposition, Tom Mulcair, to the edge. And here he is, Tom Mulcair. Hello, Tom. How are you? Hi, Ray. Good to I'm see fine. You. So far. Very good. Now, Tom Mulcair. Now, we've met before for five minutes in an airport. Yes. That was it. Yes. This is a getting to know you session. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Have you ever zip lined? No. Actually, when we were kids, we had friends who put up a wire with the pulley from a clothesline. We tried that. It's going to be it wasn't exactly, a huge success. Exactly like that. <laughs> This is our ride. That looks fun. This is good. Are you nervous yet? Um, I'm starting to be impressed with what it takes to get us up there. Now, they've given us these mitts. Apparently, they're supposed to be our brakes. They are our brakes. This is comfortable. This is a bit bumpy. <laughs> Although, you, you spent a lot of time in Montreal, so you're used to this. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's nice. That's gorgeous. We're up here. Yeah. How you doing, Rick? Rob Carter. Rob, nice Carter. to meet you. This is Tom. Tom, this is Rob. Yeah. Tom, Hi, Rob. <laughs> Sorry. I'll have to take this thing off. There. OK. See that one? Yeah. How, how high is that? This is our second longest line. It's 270 feet off the ground. 270 feet off the ground. 1,400 feet long. How, how fast would an average man? Uh, today, with the wind, we're going to do about 40 miles an hour. That's good. Yes. That's good. <laughs> You say so. <laughs> this, this, this is a good day. Up you go. OK. 14 steps to the gallows. In your job as leader of the opposition, what would you rather have to do, zip line or have Rex Murphy say mean things about you? <laughs> the only Newfoundlander I want to hear from is you. Rex Murphy, I don't have to listen to. OK, off you go. Show us what you're made of. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to do that literally if I drop. <laughs> I, I didn't think he'd do this. How was that? <laughs> that was... Hi. <laughs> Tom O'Care can do it, I can do it too. And the right. That's like you, Tom. Oh, wow, that's something else, hey? Isn't that something? That's great. <laughs> Were you terrified? Yeah. Did you think that when you got this job that you would have to do things like this? No. <laughs> Are you only here because you feel like it's part of your obligation as NDP leader? No, I'm here because you invited me and we're in Newfoundland. And if you can do it, I can do it. That's it. That's. <laughs> we interrupt this program for blueberries. Are you mad that I took you up here and I've kept you up here so long? I honestly didn't know it would take this long. It's like a game of bloody golf. <laughs> it's like lying to your wife or something. Someone say, honey, it's a game of golf. It'll take 45 minutes, tops. No, we got out there, there was 18 holes. I didn't know there was 18 holes. Who knew that there were 10 zip lines? I, I knew there was 10. I just didn't know you had to do all 10 in order to get down the mountain. Did you have to sit down and think, OK, how are they going to come at me? Because the NDP, quite frankly, got a bit of a free ride in the last election and the election before, right? Jack Layton was leader, and the, and the Tories didn't really attack Jack. They always focus their guns on the Liberals. They right. can't really continue to focus their guns on the Liberals because the Liberals are like, they're a, they're a shell of a party. 
So they're going to come after you. Right. So do you sit there and go, what are they going to say about me? Absolutely. We, we have what are they say about very me? smart people who go through everything I've said in the past. I've been in politics for a long time in Quebec. They go through positions I've had in the past. So you had to research yourself. And actually, we have a team of people who do that. They're very good at and it. And they come up with and like they nasty say, things this? they could yeah. say about you. Yeah, exactly. So you get prepared for it. Sure. Did you travel in Canada as a young man? Not that you're not young. Yeah, we used to hitchhike. People picked up hitchhikers back then. Were you a hippie? Yeah. I had really long hair. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Were you a hippie, really? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. When well, I started law school, my hair was a bit down. Oh, for God's yeah. sakes. I walked away for time. Stephen Harper was a hippie. Really? I'd like to see pictures of him. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No. He spoke to a hippie once. He said, no, I'm sorry, I can't give you a ride. <laughs> now we're cooking the gas. Someone's in a rush to get away from me. close to the trees. We only have one more, and it's a tandem. This is the last one? Oh, no. Oh, you sound sad. <laughs> no more? No more? Oh, no, there's more. Right. The future of the NDP is in my hands. I'm going to let you go now. The future of Canada. Great. And what, if I don't break, what happens? Um... <laughs> Paul Dewar on line two. <laughs> Paul Dewar put me up to this. <laughs> I'm going to let you go. You ready? What? Right. He's Three. not in town for the Three. caucus meeting, one. so go. he has an alibi. <laughs> This is it, Tom! See you, new brother! I'm breaking, don't worry! <laughs> That's the stupidest thing we've ever done! I'm <laughs> sure! <laughs> Uh, Tom will care. <laughs> Thank you go. very much, sir. Way to go, Rick. I'll say this, you're a good sport. <laughs> I don't want to go back. <laughs> <laughs>